so in a couple of days there's a storm tropical storm coming and we are out here next to fiesta key and um never been in this situation before because we're total noobs hello world wake me up to another good good morning time to go got that smile upon my face cause there's excitement in the chase this i know yeah i'm going for the ride and find myself i am alive and i saw Okay, so yeah, we got here. I put a storm anchor down. Now we're just kind of hoping for the best because honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just, I did a research and uh, now we're, hold, we're hoping, we're hoping we stop a boat after this weekend. <laughs> I, I pray that we will. I think that we will. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's do a quick update so you know what the heck's going on. About two weeks ago, we moved Barbie Jean down to Fiesta Key. The trip was boring, the trip was uneventful, and honestly, we didn't care because that's not something we usually have the privilege of experiencing. If you've been watching us at all, you already know that. Uh, we had some fun sailing her once we got her down here. We even got her up to 7.5 knots one day, which for us felt like flying because we were usually cruising around at about four knots slow as a snail. Uh, yeah, but then, then the storms started happening. Blah. I don't even know if you guys saw the video from the folks over at Try Something New or not, but if you haven't, you should definitely check it out. They're way better at storytelling than we are. What you're seeing here, actually, is us enjoying ourselves because we think that the Barber Jean is safe and anchored down. And uh, as you're about to find out, she is certainly not, and we are not. And you're about to find out, just watch. What a night. What a day yesterday. So, you see Barbara Jean back there. I just plowed her into the ground just to keep her safe. She's not plowed into the ground. I think I can still get her out, but she uh, drug anchor yesterday. And uh, man, you'll, you'll have to go over to uh, Try Something New, which is a, a YouTube page. Uh, these guys, um, Jimmy, actually, keep, we're gonna start walking back now. Um, Jimmy, that uh him and his wife and his kids that's a page that they have and and this dude is i don't know if he's or just really awesome maybe uh, but he helped me anyway so yeah we're <clears throat> i think the worst of the storm for now is over and i'm gonna be moving i'm gonna be moving it into hurricane harbor just in case i'm gonna have to do something with it i'm going back to oklahoma on wednesday and safe so maybe i'll have to put it back in a slip So here's a little bit of the aftermath and I've already fixed, I've already stitched up this side, but you can see that hole right there. That's from us, that's from us pouncing down in the, uh, in the madness of, of everything, which you probably saw on the, on Jimmy and Sandy's video. Uh, but this right here is lobster net, uh, I guess that we ran into part of this one right here was was wrapped around the propeller so it's plastic I, I guess it's for lobsters those are so annoying speaking of lobsters there's some lobsters over there 
um, I'm just jealous because I haven't caught any lobster and I really want to so don't mind me anyway so yeah I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and stitch this up Tara is back here in the back straightening up just making sure that everything's kind of like clean and together um, one thing I've noticed on these boats is the more you have everything that the more tidy everything is uh, the less chance for chaos so which I'm pretty tidy usually anyways but I can't speak for the rest of the people in my family especially Tara down there she is not tidy she doesn't have a tidy bone in her body <laughs> mm, it's practice it's practice for you this thing this trampoline's already been having trouble like it's time to be replaced but it it broke it straight through the eyelet right there and then of course over here so yeah we we probably need to replace this trampoline but for now i'm just gonna i'm gonna keep sewing keep in using my sewing place okay well while i was sewing i i found this manatee turd oh where did it go it oh there it goes you see yeah, by the way, manatees, bro, manatees have turds the size of a log. Like, it really, it's huge. They're huge. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's a work of art. <laughs> and I guess we will haul these back into shore, trash them. Oh, this is a whole line. I got it now. Show us your tidying work. Show us your tidying work. I don't know, did they see even a before? Probably not. Yeah, there was one before. I could probably get from Jimmy because he got it when it was super dirty. See, look, much better. Tidiness. Nothing on the floor anymore. Just reorganized the beds. That was meant the main problem was the bed area. And back there, we had a bunch of crap that I don't even know why it was there. The other side, much more organized here. Got everything kind of in a proper place. You know what else we're gonna have to do tonight? What? Smash. He's got trash there on the back. That's a trash bin. Obviously we can't just throw it in the sea, so we've got to take that back ashore. And we're bringing the ice chest back, because I'm going fishing tonight, and we're gonna fill it up with fish. Yeah, that's the plan. But he's gonna take it back over there to shore, take it off, and then he will come back and get me. So that is the plan. In the meantime, I will get this stuff here somewhat organized so that I am ready when he comes back. All right, we got Captain Dactyl <laughs> there and Laura is our crewmate today. And she's we- the first mate of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's the first mate. And we got, so after all of the storm, what we've decided to do is we're gonna move Barbara Jean basically back up where she was before except on the other side of the island and uh we're, we're gonna pull her out of the water and we're gonna leave her while we're gone and then when we come back we're gonna give her a paint job and uh and do a few other repairs on her and um that way we know she's safe while we're gone because that obviously wasn't gonna work right there and i don't want to be worried the whole time we're gone so that's what's going on okay, so what we're doing now is, this is the Channel 5 bridge. What we're doing is trying to figure out exactly why our app, Garmin app, is trying to tell us, okay, I have no worries now because that boat's going underneath. Yeah, that's what I'd say, man. That is definitely not an issue over there. If they crash, we don't go there. Maybe they just wanted to get you closer. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to unclip the front? 
Yeah. Looks like we got them all. Do we miss one? Perfect. Just make sure there's one on both sides is all. If you if you want to slow down for a second just so I can get this up. Oh, I'm on the wrong deal. Well, you can just slow down and give me time here. I mean, I'm supposed to turn directly. Okay, right, go. Right just now. go. Don't worry. Dolphin. Full dolphin I hope we see a dolphin on the way. I, I have yet to see dolphins in the wild out here since we've been here. Oh really? We yeah. see them quite a bit. That's what everyone keeps saying. One time they were playing like with the wake of the boat and next to the boat. All right, so here we are, venturing out further than we've ever ventured before. <laughs> and it's all Tara's fault if we don't make it back, because I said. Tara, don't go this deep. And she said, I'm going deeper. So you can see that. <laughs> yes, Cuba. That's what I was. No, there's a prohibited air out. Way far out. That's I'm what I. Going anywhere near prohibited yeah, stay out of that. It's prohibited. Hey, the lady the other day told me I've got Cuban in me. Oh. What? Yeah. I said I told her about that woman the other day that told me I have Cuban in me. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> that wasn't a fat show. Well, we've had an adventure so far for sure. The waves are just horrendous. The wind is not our friend. And uh, we ran over a lobster ball. That slowed us down, but I guess it fell off because I dove down there to cut it off and it wasn't there, so that's good. But uh, yeah, we're still moving. I'll let you see this crazy ocean, but it was worse a while ago. incident with lobster traps which I hate with a passion um, so basically we were in a lobster trap city graveyard and graveyard of lobster trap lobster graveyard because yeah. they're gonna be dead and um, we ran directly over one and now it has apparently wrapped around the propeller I assume this guy? Yeah, we. Oh. Uh, there's more up here. See, this is this is the problem with uh, this area. There's one right there. See that orange thing? Yeah, right there. We're barely missing it. These are everywhere. They're just it's out of control. Anyway, so um, lobster traps. We're trying to miss them. Ran over one. Now it's wrapped on the propeller. So once we get back to shallower water, I think we're gonna have to, and by we I mean Monty, <laughs> have to get it off of there so that we have a motor. But um, that's kind of what's been going on here. It's alive. 
Oh yeah, the dolphins, they got your back. <laughs> Island girl's taking on water. We gotta get her uh, back afloat. Every time, every time. It. You're gonna be so full tomorrow from all this work. As you can see, we are still on the boat, but I'm inside the boat because it is pitch black outside because we still haven't made it back. And it was very slow moving and then it got dark and we could not see. And so now we are in the sand and we are so close to our destination yet so so far from our destination. Laura's up there in the back. There she goes, down the chute. It is like pitch black outside, we cannot see. Um, so we're waiting on sea tow right now. If you ever get a boat, highly recommend getting sea tow because you'll probably use it. Uh, I'll see if I can get some video up top here, but it is very dark. Laura. How are you feeling being stranded on this boat? Oh, I feel wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, no two better people to be stranded with because you're very, um, you have experience in boat tragedies. <laughs> experience in boat tragedies. Are you hearing this? Boat tragedies. <laughs> yeah, it's dark. We're all tired. We thought we could make it. We thought. Wrong. Full speed ahead. <laughs> Full speed ahead is what we said, and then I should have went with that. Then it was... We ended up in the same position. I know. That's yeah. why I said. See, okay. So it was there was a shallow area, so we had to go all the way around. You're not even gonna be able to see because it's so dark. Um, I mean, look how dark this is. But yeah, so we were we were gonna not go around this key, and instead, Laura and I said, let's plow through. There was two feet. We can do it. 23 inch draft. If Let's we get go. Stuck, we'll just if we get call stuck, we'll still call a sea tow. It'll be awesome. <laughs> sea do. Or a sea do. Or Maybe sea we could have called a sea do. So, but Monty's like, no, no. no. Marina safe. Boatyard guy says, no. Don't do that. Oh, okay. So, we go around. I think someone tried to call it. Uh oh. We don't and... want to miss the sea tow. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, oh no. Shit. And now it's Laura. the same result. And now we have no power. <laughs> Oh God! And it wasn't even really a text message, it was a green light. Oh, it was probably our child buying all kinds of Amazon because we're not present. <laughs> they're with the grandparents. Um, they're watching them and they're just gonna go back to the hotel with them. It's taking forever, but Sito... Sailor's life for me. <laughs> Sito is going to come get us now anyway because we ended up stranded on the same key. So we could have been Sito'd in what, Laura, two hours ago? Two hours ago. <laughs> if we would have just stranded ourselves then. Originally. <laughs> if would have the original plan. <laughs> the original <laughs> stranding plan, that would have been great. But we didn't. So here we are in the sea. It's in the dark. It's just the thick of it. <laughs> oh, God. It seems like it was two days ago. Yeah. Yeah, so we've we've been gone. We've been gone for Since an eternity, about six months. Yeah, <laughs> we've been on this boat six months. Feels like six months. We've been we left at seven a.m. It is now ten. Oh god, I've got a flashlight. Um, yeah, it's now ten. 
and it'll probably take 45 minutes for the sea tow to get here then they have to tow us and an hour home an hour drive back home so three hours then we have to pick up our kids <laughs> so it's great fun times boat life boat life bye boat in the distance this blurry blob of light <laughs> is the sea tow um apparently <laughs> they don't want to take us anywhere they want to they just tow ocean. us to the middle of the ocean Even. and drop us because it's too, yeah, it's too narrow. So I don't, we're gonna see what happens here. All right, he's reeled us in closer. Um, it looks like he's gonna try to go ahead and take us to the uh, boat yard, which is great. So it's super dark, but maybe Molly can color correct this a bit to see, but there's a freaking uh, sunk boat. Could have been us here on this uh, journey. I think he's gonna try to reel us in a little bit. Oh my word, we made it. It's a miracle. And there's this really creepy, shine a light on it, Laura, so we can see what this is. She's gonna flash like this crazy thing. This is what greeted us at the dock. Laura, flashlight it. Look at this creepy <laughs> business that we Monty goes, oh, it's a puppy. I'm like, no. Um, this is a weird terrifying thing. greeting us here at the dock there's the awesome man that towed us in amazing took us through all the narrows we have arrived we got towed in I think Tara may have got captured a little bit of that and now we're gonna walk through this graveyard of ships and creepy mangroves which I wish you guys could see because they're super creepy it for Ubering back. We are all very tired. Yeah. So it's the next day here and uh, this place is definitely not as creepy during the daytime as it was at night. <laughs> so we're going up here. I don't know if we're gonna hang around to watch her get hauled out. I really want to. I think we have to, he said. Oh, we have to. We have to. We have to approve the blocks. Oh. Yeah. I guess we are then. I don't know what to do with the kids. We'll have to figure that out. We'll go. I'm gonna go sign the paperwork and pay this man, and uh, see what happens after that. Yeah, these things are so big out of the water. The barbagina is gonna look tiny compared to all these guys. That little boat over there. <laughs> yeah. She has an inferiority complex right now. She's been through a lot of a lot of things. <laughs> I'm way down here. <laughs> GoPro, take a photo. <laughs> this is the contraption that's gonna take Barbara Jean out of the water. So you can kind of see how this works. This big giant machine here is gonna I guess she's gonna just drive there on top and then they're gonna pull her right out. See how that goes. All right, it looks like they are moving the Barbara Jean here forward onto the pulley system here. Hoisting system, I don't really know what to call this thing. Backside. I think it's a safer area for me to film this. Um, Monty just thought his work was over. He's living a lot. The work is never done when you have a boat. closer so you can see what she looks like now that the dangerous part is over. Anything else 
Um, he'll need our card. I can just, I can just email you. Okay. We are not. <laughs> Bye, boat. Well, I mean,